adventures. You can sit here. Love deeply. The Philippines. Mm. Beautiful area. Oh, welcome to Koran. Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I've just arrived here in Coron, and I'm just gonna walk around, see what I can find, share with you guys the hostel that I'm staying at, and also share any tours that I come across, food, tricycles, and just kind of just explore the city in general. And just like any hotel or any other hostel, they will provide tours here as well. You can see they have one here, Reef Rack, Reef and, Reefs and Wrecks, 1,300. Amazing Corona, 1,400. This other one, some kind of boat tour as well, 650 pesos. Oh, hello, Deb. <laughs> this is Deb. Who's been amazing here at Michelle Inn. Yeah. She has been very, very helpful. This is the view from the third floor. Pretty view. And then if you continue to go up, this is my favorite part of the hostel. The view is quite beautiful. Check it out, guys. Common area for guests. You can sit here and look out into the bay here in Coron. Every morning they provide a breakfast that is included. Every day the breakfast is a bit different. They provide free drinking water. And then they also have all of these signs here, really cute. I always love this in hostels when they have these. The endless summer, friends, friends forever and always. Up here is where my room is, where I'm staying. From here, you can already see a view of the bay here in Colón. So going in here, the rooms are here. There are two bathrooms here. There's one bathroom here, looks pretty good. The sink is right here. Hey guys! <laughs> and then there are two showers here as well. Okay, and the room that I'm staying in is right here. This is a room with four bunk beds. My bunk bed is here on the bottom. Really comfortable bed. There is an outlet here. I already have my extension cord here as well. Oh my gosh, guys, check out what Kyle at Zen Rooms in Manila, he gave me these mangoes as a treat as well as these cookies and cream, local Philippine snacks. Thanks again, Kyle. I like the saying here, live simply, love deeply. I'm provided a towel along with a nice blanket as well. There are cabinets to lock your bags. My key is right here. So you can see how big it is. I'm able to fit both of my bags in here, my backpack and my big bag. And it's been pretty great so far. There's also a balcony here, I think. Let's see, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can hang your towels out here. Again, you can see the bay down there. Down below is one of the local streets here in town. Tons of tricycles, you'll see them everywhere, like this blue one right here. And two more right there. I guess you would say the tricycles are the Philippines equivalent to tuk-tuks in Thailand. So still adjusting and getting used to the Philippines and tricycles, which are a lot of fun, by the way. Over here, guys, you can see there's sunscreen to buy. Yes, sir. Hello. 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 You can buy water shoes, canister. 
also get some swimming pants, board shorts for men and for women. You'll find things like this all along the roads here in Clone City. You can even buy a snorkel. Sunscreen. Lots of different brands of sunscreen here as well. Spray and lotion. You can also find towels and shirts almost anything that you need for the water. One thing to remember though, whenever you come to Corona or El Nido, any of these places, the sunscreen is gonna be very expensive. All of that sunscreen was at least 500 pesos. So I would suggest to bring your own sunscreen and then buy more once you're already here and you need more. Here you can find silky sticks here. Also the flotation devices for a GoPro. Packages for your cell phone and the dry bags. You'll also find lots of shops like these where you can buy chips, drinks. There's one across the way over here. They have bananas, mangoes, oranges, all different kinds of drinks. There's another shop up here. Cell phones. So I found this really cute restaurant here that overlooks right here on the main road here in Corona. It's called Hang Loose Restro Bar. Really nice, cute little area. You can see right across the street, there's some more shops to buy. Dry bags, sunscreen, there's some people with some scooters, and more tricycles, a purple one, a red one, a blue one. So I just ordered pork adobo here, guys, which is a local dish here in the Philippines. I've got my rice. So this rice is actually gonna be poured in here. Oh my gosh. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Look at that pork. Mm. One thing that I've noticed as well is that not all the tourist shops are open. Some of them are closed. I'm guessing this is because everyone is out doing tours during the day. So as you shop around, just expect if you're here during the day, some of the shops are gonna be closed and will open up later in the evening time. Yes sir, welcome. Yes sir. Oh, that's for us. Private mall, we have just also. Looking. Just looking. What, what is, what is the, um, uh, California? California, USA. wow, welcome to Quran. Yeah, what okay. is your most popular? Uh, the Super tour. Ultimate is the best one. The Super Ultimate, yes. Ah. Because A and B combination. Okay. So all together, you have Bacayara Lake, Lagoon, and Barracuda. Ah. So all of that, the best tour in Quran. There are many, many tour agents here that you can book tours through. Uh, so take your time when you get here, walk around, shop around. Generally, they're all similar prices with similar tours. Like here's another one right here. Grown Island Tour, 750 pesos, 1,000 for the Corona Island. The Corona Island Super Ultimate Tour. These are some of the locations that I guess you would go to. Those look to be the same prices as the one I was just at. So again, just shop around, ask questions, look up what some of the locations are and where you want to go. You will also see these packages if you want to go Corona to El Nido or El Nido to Corona. Three hours, 30 minutes, air conditioned seats, open air seats, pilot house. I asked them at the hostel how much it costs to take that boat over to El Nido from here and it approximately comes out to 1,700 pesos. Another place told me earlier that it was 1,800 pesos. So expect to pay around 1,700 pesos, 1,800 pesos if you're gonna take that boat, which I think comes out to maybe 30, $32. I'm down at the waterfront right now, guys. This is where you will catch your tours, whatever tour you book. You can also do private tours that you can arrange, which will be a bit more expensive. I don't know the exact price. You would have to work that out with whoever's taking you. But this is where the tricycles will take you in the morning to get on the boat to go off on your tour. And as you can see, there are tons of boats here and a lot already left, I, I assume, this morning. Uh, really pretty. The water here is just, just keeps blowing me away of how blue it is here in the Philippines. I decided to spend the end of my first afternoon here in Corona hiking up Mount Tapias, which is this small mountain overlooking the city of Corona. 
and the whole ocean area, giving you beautiful views. However, you will have to hike up to the top, depending on how fast you go up, 10, 20 minutes, but it'll definitely be worth the view. Down below, that is the main city of Coron. And you see that whole dirt area, and that's where the boats are, where you get on the tours. Look at these islands over here, how sharp they are. Going all the way across over here, you can see the sun over there beginning to set. When you guys get to the top of the mountain here, make sure that you go on the backside to get this beautiful backdrop of the golden grass here blowing in the wind. These hills in the distance really re remind me of the chocolate hills down in Bojo. This is a beautiful area and a great place to take photographs. There even looks to be a pagoda in the distance as well. Gorgeous area. Just remember that there is a whole other side once you get to the top of the mountain here. I think I'm gonna end things here, guys. I hope that this video was helpful to you and gave you a good pers ground perspective of what things look like here in Coron when you arrive here. It's been a great first afternoon and what a way to end it with this beautiful golden grass blowing in the wind. Thanks again for watching, guys. And remember to live every moment to the max. And I'll see you guys next time out in the water.